This video will familiarize you with the fundamentals of processing unstructured data of log files on the Spark processing platform. Diota supports a multitude of data sources, such as structured, semi-structured, or unstructured. Diota has the ability to easily extract, transform, and load data into target platforms, optimally, to gain complete visibility. One of the prevailing industry scenarios in the modern data landscape is that a massive amount of data resides in data lakes. Organizations need to perform some data alterations to further take it for analysis and visualizations. In this demonstration, we will review an example of unstructured data of the server log file in Hadoop and process it through Spark to produce useful insights and load the data into a Cassandra data object. Let's begin and review the detailed steps involved in this process. Data processing in Diota is performed using the transformations within the data flow. Diota provides various set-based transformations, such as joiner, splitter, filter, rollup, and union as data moves from the source to target. Diota exposes all the native functions of the processing platform. In this case, Spark as functions are applied as per the business rules. Additionally, we can create user-defined functions, or UDFs, and leverage them inside the data flow using expression transformations. In this illustration, we've used the pre-imported HDFS and Hive data objects through a Hadoop data point. Let's take a look at the Spark data point. As we create a data point, Spark context is established to run the program in the cluster. Under Properties, we have selected Yarn Mode for Scheduling and Resource Management. Diota natively integrates with Spark in the Yarn Mode and generates Scala instructions to execute using Spark settings. The Hadoop configuration path points to the directory which contains the configuration files for the Hadoop cluster. Diota provides the user the privilege of optimizing job performance. Under Runtime Properties, the pushdown optimization settings can be configured at job level or at the data point level and includes number of executors, memory allocation, and creating Spark context dynamically. Next, let's review the data flow on the Spark processing platform. We have the source objects as web log files in HDFS and the suspicious data object in Hadoop. All the transformations, expression, joiner, and rollup are performed on Spark. Hadoop and Spark work well together for processing and analyzing big data stored in HDFS. Let's toggle the interactive button to on mode to enable the view data feature for the objects in the data flow. We can view the suspicious data in the lower pane to see if the suspicious IP address are as desired. The source file consists of the unstructured data of server logs in a single column called event. We will use an expression transform to convert this into structured data for further processing. The DFS source object is linked to the expression transform. Select the expression transform, and under attributes, we can define and extract the required attribute values using a regular expression condition. These regular expressions will parse the log file to extract the text. Diota allows us to view data anytime during the transformation. Let's view the expression data to see if the attribute values are as desired. As confirmed here, we have the structured data. Let's split this data and route out these data sets to different targets using splitter condition. Here we have defined four splitter conditions. The good condition extracts the good server request data with a response code equal to 200. The bad condition extracts the bad server request data with a response code not equal to 200. The all and stats condition redirects all the data to the linked target object for further processing. Next, to redirect data from the splitter transform into the target table, we used the predefined target object in Cassandra and linked the splitter condition of good and bad respectively. Let's review how we can further process the data using the joiner transform. To keep track of the suspicious hits on the server, join the third splitter condition dataset result with the suspicious data object on Hive containing the suspected IP address. We can load the resultant data set into the predefined Cassandra suspicious data object by auto mapping the attributes. Next, to get the count to the different request types such as get, post, head at given timestamp, we have used the expression transform to hold the required attributes from the fourth splitter condition. 
The expression transform is linked with rollup transform to get the total count based on grouped attributes that is requested type and timestamp. The rollup transform is linked to a predefined Cassandra target table, and the required attributes are mapped under Attribute Mapper. Diota efficiently manages creation of Spark-specific code and runs jobs without the user having any prior knowledge. Based on the data in the Spark execution model, the data is converted into data frames in the backend, and transformations are performed. Once the data flow design is complete, click on Save and then Run to execute the data flow. To check the execution status, either click on View Execution Status or go to the Activity screen in the Monitor module. Our data flow has run successfully, and the records have been loaded into the target table after processing. Expand the data flow and view the units within the data flow as well as the statistics. To orchestrate this data flow as a job, we can create this job as a job flow, add parameters, and define dependencies on other jobs. We can also orchestrate via file watcher or time-based triggers and schedule the job flows via Diota scheduler on any externally available scheduler. This concludes the short tutorial of web log analysis on Spark using Diota. Thanks for watching. Visit support.diota.com for additional knowledge base articles and tutorials.